Good evening, I'm Jim Gary, and once again, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this time of evening prayer. When the shutdown first occurred, we thought it was going to be for about three weeks. This is the 61st straight edition of evening prayer. So we're moving into the third month, and it looks as if it's going to continue for a little while longer. Our evening prayer tonight comes from the night prayer from the New Zealand prayer book. The angels guard us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early and so late take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. My brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for all that is good, for our creation and for our humanity, for the stewardship you've given us of this planet earth, for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love which is unbounded and eternal. O oh, thou most holy and beloved, our companion, our guide upon the way, our bright evening star, we praise and glorify your holy name. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been and shall be is known to you, to the very secret of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame burn into us, cleansing wind blow through us, fountain of water well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. Psalm 31. O God, I have come to you for shelter. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in the justice of your ways. Incline your ear to me and be swift to save me. Be for me a rock of refuge, a fortress to defend me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Lead me and guide me for your name's sake. Deliver me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me. For you are my strength. Into your hands I commit my spirit, for you will redeem me, eternal God of truth. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God our Creator and our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. From our reading, let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. Have you ever seen young people wearing the wristbands that say WWJD? You know, when I first saw one of those, I thought it was some kind of advertising promotion for a radio station from, the, from south of the border. WWJD? It certainly sounded like American radio call letters to me. In that way that we adults sometimes have of putting our foot into our mouth, I asked one teen about the radio station he was promoting on his wrist. I felt reasonably clueless once he figured out what I was asking. He explained to me 
that the wristband means, what would Jesus do? WWJD. St. Paul exhorted the Christian community in Philippi to have the same mind that was in Christ Jesus. Essentially, then, he was asking them to think WWJD. What would Jesus do? Have the same mind as Christ Jesus. He reminded them of Jesus' humility and of Jesus' sacrificial death on the cross. In word and deed, they were to confess Christ as the Lord of their lives. What would Jesus do? His words and his actions give us strong clues. He taught love of neighbor and love of God. Jesus broke down barriers that separated people. Jesus is both our Savior and our moral example. In Jesus Christ, we have been set free to love and to serve. Loving Jesus, be thou my guide and my direction in life. Amen. And now our evening prayers continue. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Eternal God, compassionate and merciful, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all people. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all, for your boundless love in the redemption of the world by our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us that due sense of all your mercies, that our hearts may be truly thankful, and that we praise you not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving ourselves to your service and walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. O God, strengthen your servants with your heavenly grace, that we may continue as yours forever, and daily increase in your Holy Spirit more and more, until we come to your everlasting kingdom. The divine Spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful God bless us and keep us now and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Thanks so much for joining me this evening. Good night and God bless. <laughs>